Richard, welcome to the UK. It's mm. great to meet you here in person as you prepare for this huge crunch clash in this weekend's main event with Joshua Boatsy. First of all, how excited and how happy are you to be here? Oh, listen, I'm so happy. Uh, hi, everyone. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, yeah, um, you know, the, what the, the good thing is uh, this is the first hotel when I come here on the Golden Contract. It's the first hotel and I come here again. So the f before uh, the first time I win with knockout, so I will do the same on Saturday. Yeah, everything is good. Everything is perfect. Uh, the old guys is perfect. Uh, nice lads, and I was meeting Lee and uh, as well this morning. So I'm happy. I'm ready, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so so excited for that night. You know what I mean? Talk to me about your preparations. We know you've been training very hard. You've put so much effort into no, this camp. No, my friend. You're, you're, no, but you're ready to go. You're in great shape and ready to go. Uh, uh, I need to train, you know. Chill out, like that. No, of course, I'm joking. Yeah, uh, I was start uh, training in January after a golden contract, yeah, and I thought I will have a fight in March, then in April, then in May, and everything oh, was cancelled, cancelled. Yeah. Uh, but I won uh, Boatsy uh, yeah, a long time ago, yeah, he's a massive star here, yeah, and I, uh, I think uh, we'll make a massive fight, the great fight. So, yeah, the, me and my coach, Dmitry Shekhalay, yeah, as the same coach, Marius Beredes, yeah, he's the same coach, and we three, like, uh, Marius Beredes helped me to prepare now as well, and, uh, yeah, I'm good shape and perfect conditions, so I'm, I'm happy to be here. And in terms of your roots into boxing, Maris Bredis, who you just mentioned there, was someone you used to look up to, didn't you? And now you're in the gym, training alongside yeah, him. Yeah, I was so, yeah, a long time, long, long time before, like so many years, I was, saw him in uh, like TV. I said, oh yeah, I want to be like, the same like him. And now we're training in one gym. Uh, I don't know, I'm a good or he's a m start to be bad. I don't know, <laughs> I think I'm a good. <laughs> but you are a proud Latvian, aren't you? You're very proud to represent your country. Yeah, this of course, stuff. of course. Latvia, the, lots of people text me and write me and call me and support me. So yeah, I'm, I'm coming here not uh, alone, not with only with team. I come here like to show Latvia. And in the ring, very serious, entertaining fighter. Out the ring, not so serious, entertaining <sighs> character. It's like what? You're, you're you're an entertaining personality. You don't like things being too serious, do you? Out of the ring? No. Um, how I tell? You? Yeah, of course. The ring is uh, my job. You know, I, I can't be like uh, laughing. My coach will give me f for her. Oh, yeah, listen, come on. You know, we have a fight. We have a fight. But in uh, life, yeah, I'm a nice guy. I think I'm a nice guy. Uh, and no, sometimes I go mad, of course. Uh, yeah, but life and uh, gym and boxing. Uh, I don't want to mix them, you know what I mean, like, and uh, in life you have to be more happy, more smiling, you need love to uh, life, like, you know. You are in a brilliant position right now, but at the start of your pro professional career, things weren't so easy, you know, you had oh. a difficult start to life as a professional boxer. I waited, I waited this question, you know what I mean, uh, I started boxing to make money. I I don't I don't want to win that fight, you know. There's 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 all uh, what uh, kind of uh, you know one fight uh, I don't like it with uh, with uh, Muchuno, David Muchuno. But I was in the cruiserweight, and it was more be hard for me, yeah, to be guys. But all this uh, loss, what I have loss in the beginning my career, yeah, in the start, it was only for money. I come, uh, I come somewhere in France, where I don't remember France, England, uh, Germany. I lose that fight. They give me money. I go straight away in the pub and drink beer. So I didn't think so serious about boxing. But then when one time I come back at home and I say, Coach, oh, listen, I I don't want to lose again. I want to win, uh, and uh, I'm a man, and uh, I want to show something what I can. And we start to do a good job. And in terms of your motivation now, your wife. You credit her as being a massive part of your success, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, I love her. Alina, I love you so much. Yeah, it's uh, most of, I don't know, it's uh, massive for me, the, the, the woman, and she's doing everything for me, and 
I don't know. I love her so much. If I will have a, I have a one heart, you know, but I want to give her one, this one, and I can't l live without. But I, I love her so much. It's how you come back from your losses in boxing that define you. As we just said, you're in a great position now. You won the golden contract. Just talk to us about the run of form you're on, because in the ring, do you feel a bit unstoppable at the moment? No, nobody, nobody unstoppable. You know, no, everyone can lose. Yeah, and of course everyone thinking about lose, yeah, everyone no, thinking about win, no, victories. Uh, it's life. We every, uh, everyone we really training in a gym. I'm, uh, I'm sure what is training the same hard, you know, not for hundred percent, for hundred twenty, hundred two hundred percent. Yeah, uh, everyone training uh, hard, but it's life. Like no, somebody need to win, somebody need to lose. But uh, on this moment, uh, I want to win more than him, that everyone who is here, like, I want to win this. I want to be a world champion. I want to bring the belt to my coach and say, listen, you're the man. Thank you very much. This fight with Joshua Boatsy, you mentioned it earlier. It's a fight you've wanted for a long, long time. How excited are you to finally be getting in the ring and have your opportunity to face Boatsy this Saturday? Uh, I will uh, I, I will ask to this, uh, answer this question after Saturday. I can't tell now about that, uh, how I feel, but how I feel. But I feel brilliant, and I wait this Saturday, and I just want adrenaline. I want that fight. I just I want to fight. You know, I have that guy like a guy in uh, when I was young. I was fighting every time, and I like to fight. You know, and I so miss for for this, um, uh, for this like. When you sit in a uh, dressing room and waiting that when they call me El Balotnik, five minutes to go, you know, you're, ah, uh, yes, yeah, that the moment, that the, yeah, I want that. And in terms of a fighter, he's very widely respected in the sport. People think of him as one of the best young prospects in world boxing. How do you assess Joshua Boatsy as a fighter? Oh, of course, of course, he's not the, the lad from the streets, you know, he's not the guy from the streets, uh, he's a very serious guy. But uh, if I want to be a world champion and fighting with the uh, next guys, I don't know, uh, top of five yeah, guys, I need to win the tops. So I'm sure uh, uh, me and Boatsy, we, are, we, are, we can fight with top five. So and this Saturday, I'll tell you that thing. Uh, uh, the Saturday will be like 50-50, um, you know. Uh, and uh, me, some, me, some, some, some. I have some good skills, you know. He has some good skills. Maybe I have some bad thing. He has some bad thing. And we have to go and 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 show who is the best for us, you know. Everything. So I don't know. No, I I can tell you one thing. Yeah, he's good. He's very good. He's one of the best. Uh, which I was fighting. Yeah, it's a, my, my uh, the hardest fight in my career. But uh, I won the win that fight. And next, next, I uh, hear the Canela won the um, WBA. So Canela, waiting me. I'm coming, my friend. And you want to show a bit of everything in this fight. You want to show that you can go to war and you want to show your boxing ability. Richard, you want to show everything you can do. In the I want to show I can, uh, I, I, I want to show I can be a world champion. So uh, uh, that five losses, what I have, it's a... So you know it's it's mistake, and we grow up and we changing and phew, listen, I'm ready, my friend. And you just said it there. This is an official eliminator for the WBA world title. If you beat Joshua Boatsy, look at the position you're in then. Yeah, but I don't think about only WBA. I think about all the belt. So <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yeah, but uh, I I read and I hear that yeah, who win the fight, uh, he can fight for world uh, world uh, champion. Yeah, now what champion is Dmitry Bivo? I think yeah here. So no problem. Who's next? Is, is your wife's favorite belt the WBC? Is that the one she wants? Yeah, to she like green, and she was so this one. She said, "Oh yeah, I like this green. That's brilliant." Yeah, she like green to uh, color. Do you believe you carry the power? I know you don't want to be disrespectful with Joshua Boatsy, but you two are going to get in the ring at the end of the day on Saturday night. Do you believe you have the power to win this fight by knockout and certainly be the first man to beat Joshua I Boatsy? I don't think about knockout, my friend. I don't think about it. I hear he want to 
Uh, he's ready for deep water. He want to bring me deep water. He's uh, uh, gold, silver, bronze. Yeah, uh, from uh, Olympic Games. Yeah. He have a very uh, good hit. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to knock. Uh, I don't want to knock out. I want a twelve round. I want all that twelve rounds. Uh, and uh, like I always say, I want to win and come to dressing room and say, yeah, we did that, my friend. For you, you you must feel that. If you can have success, it will come in those later rounds. You have that experience. Push on. You have the experience of going into the later rounds more than Joshua Boazzi. Yeah, does. well, listen, I don't think it's a, it's not uh, the big plus for me. You know, uh, everyone we everyone training so hard. You know, and I think after six or seven rounds, it's only numbers like seven, nine, eight, ten, twelve. I think we can uh, stay in Saturday uh, twenty rounds. We're ready. You know, and. No, we will see how, how 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 he can say. I can. And in your own words, in true Richard Bolotnik style, sell us this fight. Is this going to be a crazy fight? What can the fans tuning in expect to see on Saturday night? Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of blood, uh, lots of big shots, and when I win, uh, I want a beer and pizza. You have some place beside of that uh, ring. Uh, yeah, everyone watch that fight and I'm sure it will be a great fight, it will be a massive fight, a street fight. Uh, yeah, I wanna... How I tell you? I don't know, I wanna war, like... I wanna... I wanna, like... Uh, I need to win that fight. I, 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 can, I can die, but I can't w lose, you know what I mean? And I wanna win, and I will win. Richard, thank you very much. Best of luck. Alright, thank you.